All right, so we back again. Okay, so um, this is how the other side look. You know, you got a little side uh, Velcro thingy. You got the Velcro thing for the cable management. Um, this is what they come. This is the one that comes pre-installed. But if you want to get a more industrial level one, they sell them. Oh, low-key, low-key secret hack, right? They sell zip ties. They sell Velcro straps like this at the Home Depot, right? I work there, so this is, you know, free free marketing, all right? They sell zip ties. So anything you need for cable management or your build, you can low-key buy it from the Home Depot for like an unrealistic price. It's really crazy. Not expensive crazy, but crazy as the amount you get for the value. Of course, you could go to a sort of specialized tech store like, you know, uh, Micro Center and all that. But Micro Center, I live in Jersey. Micro Center is not ultra far but it's it's a significant distance whereas i'm in walking distance of the home depot i could just walk there get my zip ties or my little velcro tie and call it a day all right so secret hack for y'all builders who want to like keep your cable management very neat and nice and precise home depot all right so you see boom this is the hub. This is what we're working with. This is the um, ARGB hub. So let me show y'all here. All right. So oh, that's pretty good. Okay. So you got the P. You got the PWM, got the LEDs, and you got the three pins. Wow. I like this. This is actually nice. You could just attach everything right to there. You don't have to daisy chain or none of that bullshit. All right. Uh, Okay, yep, I can get some zip ties. Zip ties make that neater, so we're going to plug that. We're going to plug this one right here. We in there. That look like a little, that looks like a very good capacitor. Okay, and of course we got, of course you got your... USB 3, USB 2, your little pin header thingies. All right. All right, what's this for? Oh, this is the one you got to attach. Okay, this is the one you got to attach to the motherboard. And the hub itself is SATA powered. We in there, man. You can't get no better than that. Okay. I like this. What the hell is this? Oh, you got, okay, you got to plug one part of it to the motherboard. Okay, got it. You got, okay, this is the, um, you plug these up to the motherboard, all right? And you can control all the fans from one header, all right? So, let's get into here, because this is where the screw's going to be. Ah, yes. Oh, okay. It comes with one hub thingy. <coughs> mm. <laughs> okay, the little hub thingy. Tells you that you can either put one HD or one, two SSDs on here. But I'm wondering, I have a mechanical. I have a 2.5 inch mechanical. I wonder if those are like the same dimensions. I think they're around the same dimensions as an SSD, but significantly thicker. But you don't want to, you don't, you, you want the, you wouldn't want a mechanical to be like, maybe you could, maybe I, I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I'll just see what happens. Okay. That's pretty, that's, I give you just one bay. Uh, I don't like that because I was going to give this, I was going to give this freaking. I was gonna get um I already got the M.2. 
So I already got the M.2 installed to the motherboard. So I was going to give this, um, I don't, I have like a, a 2.5 mechanical lane around. So I was going to put that in here, but I was going to buy another two terabyte mechanical as well. <laughs> Oh no, okay, my bad. I, I misread that. You can only um one is for a hard drive and two is for a SSD. You can't put two on one bay. You can only use one or the other. I think I can I, I think I can mount a 2.5 here, but I'm not gonna mount it on here. It's another thing, it's another thingy on the inside that I can mount a 2.5 to. It looked like it screws on the joint so I can, I could probably mount it directly on here. I see extra screws. Okay. Well, they only give, it only gives you one bay. I'll make it work. That's the one thing. That's the one thing about my building prowess. No matter what, I will make this shit work. Okay. So. And besides, we have the instruction booklet. Not that I will ever need to read it, but I just want to see my hard drive options because I, I still want to get the two terabyte mechanical. So that way, whoever buys this system getting a significant amount of space. Okay, okay, we got the panel right there. We got the power supply already. Yeah, see, I, I probably could put a mechanical there, but it's going to make a lot. Yeah, so... You could put you you maybe you could put a 2.5 mechanical here, but you don't do that because it's gonna make a shit ton of noise. It's gonna it's gonna buzz against the metal. So yeah, don't do that. So okay. Mm. All right. So I guess I won't. I probably won't add the two terabyte mechanical. I'll just stick with. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, so I probably won't add the two terabyte mechanical. I'll just stick with the one terabyte that I got to include with it. Oh, the, yeah, I knew it was another spot right there. Um. That's the one thing I like about thermal tape cases. Um, they got like. They got like the little plastic bracket thingy so if you wanted to use a 2.5 mechanical you could this will probably this will probably fit i just don't want it to make any unnecessary noise all right well let's get right to it and enough with me enough with ah uh, here we go this is what we got in here we got the motherboard screws we got the speaker screws and we got Five zip ties, five, five zip ties. Apparently five is all you need, but you know, you can't be mad at them, but I already told y'all the secret sauce, Home Depot, get all the, get all the zip ties you need and, and then some. All right, we'll be right back. We about to install the motherboard. 